Now there's some food to warm us up this winter, Mark. You've got a spicy Mexican dish for us this morning. That's right, we're going Mexican and we've got enchiladas. So this is a really quick, easy recipe. Basically what we're going to do, we've got tortillas, we're going to stuff them with a beautiful cheesy meat spice mix and then we're going to make an enchilada sauce, we're going to smother the top, more cheese, bake it all in the oven, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Really easy, I'm going to show you how to do it a little bit later, we've got these smoked chipotle uh, chilli peppers in here and extra chilli sauce to make it spicy to warm oh. you up for winter. Oh. Just up Mike Street. <laughs> Great to have you with us. We are in the Beko kitchen for a classic Mexican recipe. This is going to be good, I'm really excited. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly so more excited so than you. Yeah. No, 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 I love Mexican food and we're going to make it. So we're going to make enchiladas today. Nice. So I'm going to show you how to, to make the mix, roll the enchiladas, and we're going to make the sauce as well. I mean, you can go to the supermarket and buy it if you want, if you like Mike. <laughs> you know, or if you want to save time. Harsh. But it's really, it's re <laughs> but that's what you do all the time. I know, I don't have you, you know, at home all the time, do I? Right, but I'm going to show you how to make weird. the sauce. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, let's just make the sauce. <laughs> right, I'm going to show you how to make the sauce first. Yes. So a little, a little bit of oil in a warm uh, pan. A uh, bit of flour goes in there, that's going to help thicken the sauce. And then we're going to start putting lots of um, spices in there. So okay. a little bit of chilli powder. Mm -hmm. It's another spicy one as well, isn't it? Yeah, no, I don't want to mince my words, but it's the third time you've used mince. <laughs> it is. It yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, garlic powder goes in there, a bit of cumin powder. Well, that smells good. A um, little bit of cinnamon as well, so a nice sweet spice there. Bring it out and some oregano. Okay, cool. Okay, that goes in. Should it be like a paste already, or do you just want to keep mixing it? No, no, just, we're so, oh, yeah. so we're toasting those spices as okay. well with the flour. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so just just a, a couple of minutes over a medium heat, and you you know you can start to smell it now. <laughs> yeah. Right, and then I've got some tomato paste. Okay, good. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put this in now. Yeah. And what we want to do is we want to mix it all around and get all those spices into that tomato paste. Okay, good. So we're not toasting this, we're mixing Well, now. no, we are, yeah, we're, we're, we are toasting know, it as well. <laughs> You're right, you sound a bit grumpy today. <laughs> are you sick of me? <laughs> do you need Mel? <laughs> I'm going on holiday soon, mate. Does <laughs> oh, that mean Mel's in the kitchen? Yeah, well, potentially. Brilliant. She's been, you know, for the last three years, she's been dying to get into the kitchen. <laughs> all right, so we're toasting this now. Okay, cool. And, all right, and now, what, so basically we're making like a, um, it's, it's, it's like a roux, really. Okay. Without any butter or well, just the flour, no butter. So I've got some chicken stock here, so yep. we're just going to, uh, we'll keep that on a low heat. Yep. Just going to put a little bit in, and you want to keep stirring it. Mm hmm So it breaks it down. Yeah, until we've got no lumps. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Wow. Good luck with that one. <laughs> now, so just pop a little, little bit in, and then really sort of whisk it in, and then all those spices and flour will just to gradually go into it. And then you can add more stock. We'll bring it up to the boil, and then we're just going to simmer it down. Oh, it's smelling good. Yeah, and, that, and that's going to give us our sauce. So pack full of flavour, okay. all those spices, hopefully lump-free. I'll get it lump-free, mate, don't you worry. Right, and then I've got another pan over here, so this is nice and warm. I'm going to pop a little bit of oil into this, and then we're just going to start browning some uh, beef mince. Now, you can use any mince you want um, in the recipes, yeah. but like Mike pointed out, we've used pork, so now we're going to use beef. Nice. That's all right. Yeah, mince you know, meat's affordable. We like affordable. Exactly. So, get into a pan, and then just frying it, we're just browning it. So don't need to cook it all the way because we've got lots of flavours that's going to bake in the oven. So we're going to, once we roll it and put it all into our casserole dish, it's going to be about another sort of 20, 25 minutes in the oven. Okay, okay. great. So nice. This is good. So, so we're going to have a little bit of seasoning in there and we'll keep cooking until it's nice and brown. How's your um, sauce going? There, yeah? I'm breaking it down. All right, so I'll add the rest of our chicken stock. There you go. That's what we need. That's it. So we'll put a little bit of heat in there. Well, you know, don't don't be afraid to just really get oh, in there yeah. and and, okay. and break those um, lumps. Up. It's getting there, Mark. It's getting there. Don't <laughs> panic. Don't panic, New Zealand. We will feed you today. This and, is a good school holiday the, dish too. Actually, yeah, yeah, no, it's yeah. really good. You know, get the kids in there, and if it goes lumpy, you can just blame the kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've got a tip for you as well. If it's uh, if it's still lumpy, you just sieve it. Oh, yeah, sweet. There you there go, you and go. then you can just push the spices through, and then it'll all go in, and then and then thicken it. It's broken down. It's breaking down. It's getting yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, you know, once you work it, it will go down. That's fine. So a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Keep it on the heat, and we'll just keep cooking that so it's all nice and broken up and nice and brown. Okay, nice. Excellent. Well, things are smelling really good. 
We've done the first stage. I'll keep stirring this for you, Mark. I'll sort it out, don't you worry. <laughs> okay, so we've got the filling. We've got the sauce sorted, and we'll talk about the filling very soon. And we'll see how to build them as well. Now we need to finish off building these enchiladas. So what do we need to do now, Mark? Is the mince, are you happy with the mince? Yeah, so the mince is uh, it's all yep. cooked, it's all brown, it's all broken down. Have I broken down that sauce enough for you now? Uh, yeah, it's actually good. fairly lump-free. It's actually quite good. Oh, it good. tastes really good. So that's nice. what's been uh, simmering out. So we've cooked the flour out. All yep. the spices have gone into that sauce. That's what we're after. Mm, it smells so good. Okay, right, sweet. into a bowl. Yes. I'm going to get you to uh, grate some cheese. Okay. So you can do it on the large uh, setting. Yes. Okay, right, you cool. You come over here. We need some bench space. Okay, cool. The large setting, this one? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. It's a uh, technical term we'll use in the kitchen. No, no, you're speaking my language. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then I've got some onion as well, so I'm just going to chop some onion up. So this is just going to go in raw. And then, uh, ideally at home, if you've got a little bit more time, fry the mince off, let it cool down slightly, and mm -hmm. then we're going to mix it all together with our cheese. Yum. And now we've got some sour cream in there as well, which we're going to pop in. Okay. And then, we've got some spices, so a little bit more cumin, mm -hmm. some garlic powder. Uh, we've got some Mexican seasoning, which is, you know, just out of a packet. Nice. Um, you know, it's quite readily available now. A little bit of cayenne pepper, some kick, some oregano again, and uh, some smoked chipotle peppers as well. Like, okay, these are, so these it's all, are great. all in the spices, isn't it? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's Mexican food, you know, lots of chilies, lots of spices, and those sweet spices as well, you know. Nice. But massive, massive amounts of flavour. Right, you can pop your... Um, Pop the mince in there okay. and then give it a really good stir around. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try and, and work then out. I'm just going to pop some sour cream in as well. Pop okay, that in cool. first. Right, so you go in there. And, um, you know, Mexican food wouldn't be complete without a big handful of coriander. <laughs> oh, yes. Jesse Amarista <laughs> hates coriander. <laughs> it's amazing how much food uses coriander and cumin, I've noticed as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not really. I just like to put it in everything. <laughs> just to wind them up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right, so give that a really good stir around. Good uh, um, salt and pepper in there as well. Okay, cool. So always, you know, always try your mix. Always put some good seasoning in there, lots of ingredients. Um, and taste it, because if this tastes good, the whole dish is going to taste really good. It looks good. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Right, I've got a pan on here. So you've got these little tortillas. So we're just going to pop them in a dry pan. And you just want to sort of 10, 15 seconds on each side. You just want to warm them up so they're a bit more pliable. OK, cool. All right. So flip that over. So once we've done that, you know, you don't, you don't really need to get any cool. You can so if you want. them. We're just warming yeah, them up. Yeah, okay, just, great. Just, uh, just so they're sort of flexible. See how more flexible that is? And it's just the important rolling. Yes. OK, good. Right. Everyone so, loves a good roll. Get some uh, mix. I always overfill mine. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the beauty with uh, with this dish, if you do overfill them, you can sort of wrap it up and you're going to chuck loads of sauce in there anyway, so you can still make it look nice. So I'm just going to, literally, I'm just going to roll them like that. You go, no, you've waited for that roll all morning, haven't you? And they, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to show us some sort of fancy enchilada roll. No, no, just rolling. Just, just that. So, okay. Right, so oven proof dish, little bit of uh, spray grease on there, get your sauce, pop a little splash in the uh, base. Okay. So it keeps it nice and moist. Yep. Shake it around. And then what, what you want to do is pop our, oh God, pop our rolls in there, and yeah. we're going to fill the whole thing. We're going to pour more sauce over the top, and then we're going to grate some more grated cheese over the top of that into a hot oven about 170 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. Bring it out and enjoy. OK, sweet. OK, we'll put them in the oven very soon, and we will see how they look towards the end of the show. We will show you before Mark plates it up. Look at that. Look how good that looks. It looks good. Yeah, it's just can I taste it? Bring it. You can taste it. I'm so hungry. Ooh, Give it yay. a taste. So, you know, just serve it straight in a casserole dish. Oh. Pop really? it on the pop it on the table and you can all dig in there. Yeah, well, we're we'll digging in, all right. What are you digging into on Monday? Right, Monday we've got orange and honey firecracker prawns. Yum.